Okay, I'm gonna come clean because I've regretted this right here for a while now because I have not been using an air purifier because I strictly thought that I was gonna be okay in my house with just using a filter in my HVAC system. I thought, okay, that's all I need. It'll get rid of dust and everything else. Of course, you know, every time I feel like the, the air runs or the heat runs, it just blows dust all over the place. I can only imagine how many particles there has been. Six months ago, I've been re religiously uh, using air purifiers around the uh, house. And, you know, we have like three or four of them now. We have four of them in our house uh, running. I use one in my studio. We use one in our living room. We use one in our bedroom. And we also use one in our kitchen. I do want to kind of go over of what I like about them. Um, I'll tell you about the models that I have personally uh, in my home, including this one right here that I have in my studio that I just grabbed off the ground. Uh, and uh, you know, the benefits for you too as well. So if you have not touched an air purifier before or want to figure out like which one's good for you, uh, we'll cover all of that in this video uh, for you. Uh, the very first thing I want to say is that the first, <laughs> someone told me like, you know what, if you have a dusty home or you just feel like you're constantly dusting all the time, that might be a sign that you might want to be looking at an air purifier. I was like, okay, you know, that's kind of cool that it'll get rid of, help me get rid of some dust. And I find out that it does more than that. It can get rid of like, like particles in your air that are not healthy for you. Uh, VOCs, it can get rid of uh, smells in your home too as well if it has a carbon filter with it. I mean, there's a ton of things it can do. I'm gonna tell you right now, I am no expert. No expert whatsoever. I'm just here to tell you guys what I like about my air purifiers. So, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kinda of explain how they all work if you don't know anything about air purifiers or the basics of them. Uh, just know if you do get an air purifier, it's not a one-time cost uh, because you do have to go ahead and replace those filters depending on how, how bad they get used up. Uh, it can be as soon as like three months. Some of them go for six months or even a year or two as well um, with them. And they come in all shapes and sizes, all shapes and sizes. So let's go ahead and break down first of how the air purifier works. So here is my office, my studio air purifier. That's right here, it handles this area right here, which is actually an overkill for this area because this specific one is actually designed for medium to large size rooms. I will say that my studio is more like a small room. This is only like about 140 square feet. This one in particular uh, can handle about a thousand square feet with it. Uh, and they, they do have HEPA filters built in. When you do look at different air purifiers, see what kind of filters they have. Uh, HEPA is the way to go. You definitely want a HEPA. On this right here, the one thing I like, it actually has two filters. So there's one on each side. They're usually pretty easy to go ahead and take out. You either have round ones or you have rectangle ones or square ones. Uh, this one here has two rectangle ones. Basically just take this here out and you're gonna find the filter right here on the side with it. And if you go ahead and take this here out, you wanna see how nice and thick that filter is. And you're also gonna go ahead and see that it also has multiple different layers in here too as well. Like you have one side right here that's white and another side over here that's black. If you see black, it's usually like a carbon filter that helps get rid of like smells and smoke and dust uh, with it. But it's usually the white one right here that usually starts with. So it usually helps get rid of like the larger particles. And it usually has a three or four different layers uh, within a filter with it. So if we go ahead and check out the inside here, you're, now you're gonna go ahead and see a fan. So how this here works is that it's basically just a big fan that has filters on the outside of it. So it's gonna go ahead and suck air in with it on all sides usually, or underneath it, or on top, wherever it might be, and it pushes the air through the filters and it blows the air back out. Some of these right here will kind of be going from the bottom to the top. This one here specifically goes from the sides uh, out the front with it. So you can kind of see how the fan is all built in uh, there with it. So let me go ahead and turn this one here around too as well on the other side, there, there's another filter over here too. So you take the side over here, it's the same exact filter. So when you go ahead and replace these filters right here, we're gonna have to replace two filters on this specific unit, but it's actually pulling in twice as much air at all at the same time. So I'm able to circulate more air through here. So we can go ahead and pull this one here out too. And now you can kind of see all the way through the fan area with it. So kind of see that it has a, a fan going through here and just blows it all out with that. 
That right there is the basics of how an air purifier works. Now, the bells and whistles are gonna be up to you with it. They're, every air purifier pretty much has different design, bells and whistles. They also have different ratings on them. Uh, then they also have how loud they are too. So this one here is pretty nice. I like this one here because I can put it really nice and quiet, especially when I'm doing like content creation and stuff like that. Basically it's called sleep mode uh, with it. It'll still push air through it. So it's still circulating my air. It's still grabbing all the dust, debris with it. Uh, it definitely helps, especially, oh my goodness, if you have like problems with like, you know, um, it, when the grass grows and everything else like that, you know, all that dander and everything else gets in the air and you have like allergies and stuff, air purifiers are amazing. Amazing to help with that too as well. So, and these here make it so nice too as well. We have one in our bedroom. I'll say that uh, ever since we started using it, I usually sleep a lot better uh, with it. So, easy to go ahead and replace the filters. We're just gonna go ahead and pop these guys back in so that way we can go ahead and test this here out for you. I mean, kind of see how this here all works. It usually just snaps right back into place like that. We'll go ahead and throw the other one in here too uh, with it, so. Usually the white part goes out, the carbon filter part usually goes in with this. Now some of, some filters also have like UV uh, kind of things with it, like lights and stuff like that in there. I don't have one of those myself, but I will say ever since we started using air purifiers in our home, uh, our house is less dusty, which I think that's an amazing benefit. That also means that less dust is going into my nose, into my lungs, anything like that, you know. Uh, our noses are an amazing filter with it. This year can help with that uh, too. So on this specific model right here, um, I'm gonna show it to you. A lot of the other models kind of have almost the same exact basics with it. Uh, if you guys wanna check this one here, I'll leave a link down in the description so you guys can go and find it there if you guys wanna start researching, um, you know, these air purifiers. Okay, so here we go. Let's, uh, go, let's go ahead and take a look here. Mine's a little dirty on the top, so don't mind that. Let's uh, wipe it off. <laughs> here we go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just turn it on here. A lot of them will have touch screens on it uh, or buttons with it. This one here has three different speed modes on it. It has low, middle, and high. The low option on this specific model right here is the fact that it's like nice and quiet. It's pushing out maybe like two miles an hour worth of air. So it's, it's slowly pulling it out. I can feel the air pushing in here and I can feel it coming out on the outside right here. So it's going this way here in and going out through the front and it's circulating all that air through. Now, I would only use this right here if you need quiet time uh, with it or if you're sleeping or you just if you just want a little bit of circulation going on it. I suggest going at least for the middle one. It does get a little bit louder. I will say that drowns out throughout the day, especially if you have it in your kitchen area, you'll never even really notice it at all uh, with it. And then you also have high, which is circulating a ton of air, a ton of air. Okay, so check this out right here. So I brought this here with me today too as well. We're gonna turn this right here down to the low because I'm sure you guys can hear that. Uh, but I have this here, this is a wind meter. So we're gonna go ahead and set this here to miles per hour. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how much is coming out here, how much wind is coming out, how much air is coming out, how much air is circulating through out here. So the fastest go right here, that means the faster this air is moving through here. And the faster it moves, that means the more air is going through the filters and the more it's filtering out everything out there and purifying your air for you. So right now it's on low, so we'll go ahead and just push this rear in here. We'll see it speed up right there real quick with it. And I'm gonna move this back just a hair. So we're at uh, two and a half miles an hour. All right, two and a half miles an hour. We're gonna go ahead and go up a little bit higher here. And now you can kind of see that it's gonna increase significantly now. So we're at six, six to six and a half miles an hour. So it's almost two to three times the speed. Now watch this, we're gonna go ahead and crank this up all the way, all the way right here. And we're around nine and a half, 10 miles an hour. That right there is how much wind speed is coming out of this right here. So there you go. We'll bring that right there back down again. So I love using this right here little tool. Kind of shows you how much speed is coming out all together. Now this here does have other options too as well. It does also have a child lock on here. Basically just hold that down. So a lot of them do have child locks. Um, 
So if you put the child lock on, you're not going to be able to use any of the buttons right there unless you release the child lock. That's the way if you don't have a little kid that comes over, they're not going to be messing around with your settings. It also has a dimmer control on here too uh, with it. So it's going to go ahead and lower down your panel lights. Great for like sleeping and stuff like that uh, with it. It also has timers on here too. So if you only want this year to run just for a little bit, you do have that option. Um, so you have like one, two, four, eight hours, which is great, especially if you just want to kind of like run it through. If you guys have pets and you don't want to, and you want to help get rid of that pet dander, air purifier is also the way to go. Like I said, I cannot believe that I waited so long. It's like 20 plus years of my life I could have been using an air purifier. I mean, I grew up thinking that the filters in my home were good enough. Uh, here, find out if they were good enough, why do I have dust all over my house? Uh, still, but ever since I started using these air purifiers in my home, like I said, we have four of them. Um, it's been a game changer for me. So that's the one regret I had is not starting with an air purifier ahead of time. If you guys want to check it out, I have a link down in the description below. We'll see you on the next one.